Do you love spooky season and want to do all the things during spooky season? Well, keep watching because we're going to talk about all the spooky fun that you can have at Universal, even if you're not attending Halloween Horror Nights. Hey everyone, spooky season is in full swing at Universal Orlando. There's so much to do and see this year, but even if you don't have a ticket to HHN, you can still have oodles of fun. In this video, we're going to talk about five spooky themed things that you can do at Universal outside of a night at HHN. Number one on our list, resort hop for spooky fun. The first thing that you can do is something that we love doing year round, and that's hopping to all the Universal Orlando resorts. This year, Universal added Halloween decor to all of their resorts. You will find photo props, QR codes to photo experiences that you can share on your socials, and bars overlaid with unique spooky theming that fit the vibe of each resort. In order to resort hop, all you have to do is either take a bus, boat, or the walking path to each of the resorts. Universal transportation is free to any guest. You do not have to be staying on property in order to take the transportation. You can hop over to Cabana Bay and get a milkshake at Shakes, then head into the lobby to enjoy the pumpkin theming, or you can hop over to Sapphire Falls and have some refreshments at Strongwater Tavern and take photos with the shipwrecked themed Halloween decor. Each of the resorts features a unique theme for the Halloween decor, so if you like, you can visit all resorts, take a picture at each, and rank your favorites. We'll be featuring some of our favorites throughout the season on our socials, and if you visit, you'll have to share yours with us as well. We'd love to see them. The second thing on our list, go on a behind the scenes tour. Another thing that you can do without a ticket to HHN and actually without a ticket to the theme parks is going on an Unmasking the Horror tour. The Unmasking the Horror tour is a lights on behind the scenes tour of the haunted houses. During the tour, you get to look at the staging and set design of all the houses. If you like being behind the scenes or dipping your toes into haunted houses without the scares, this tour is perfect for you. You will get to see the effects used to create scares. Here are the creative process that went into creating each of the houses and take your time going through each house on your tour, admiring the details that you might miss during a traditional walkthrough experience at HHN. The Unmasking the Horror Tour ticket can be purchased for either three houses or six, and the price varies depending on the date. This is absolutely our favorite thing to do at HHN. It feels like you're behind the scenes on a movie set. You get to see areas that you would not traditionally get to see as a regular guest. We've even been in the houses as they start turning on the lights for the start of an HHN night. That may have been the most we have nerded out seeing all the effects begin. We will put information for the tours in the description below. Number three, be sure not to miss the Dead Coconut Club. Each year during the Halloween season, the Red Coconut Club in CityWalk transforms into the Dead Coconut Club. The spooky overlay changes every year and features a theme that complements the theme for HHN. This year, you'll find an 80s theme with Blumhouse touches throughout the club. You will find decor for photo ops, specialty cocktails, nightly entertainment, and a dance floor for dancing the night away at this ghoulish spot. The Dead Coconut Club is open from 4 p.m. to 1 a.m. on HHN nights. There's no cover charge and no dress code. One note though is to be aware of parking rates for CityWalk if you do not have a pass to Universal that covers parking. Number four, search for Easter eggs in the Tribute Store. For the next recommendation, you do need a day ticket to Universal Studios in order to do this, and that's visit the HHN Tribute Store. The Tribute Store is a can't miss and is actually open all day at Universal Studios. It's not just open during HHN. 
Because of this, we recommend that you actually visit the store during the day so you don't lose any time visiting houses or checking out the show or scare zones if you are attending HHN. If you go to Universal Studios early in the day, we recommend heading over to the Tribute Store before the park gets busy. Now you may ask why we would recommend rope dropping a Tribute Store, but the amount of Easter eggs that you will find in the Tribute Store each year is incredible, and often new details are added as the season progresses. It's really neat to look for little details and clues that point to a bigger picture of the overarching story for each year. You can also find treats in the Tribute Store and even purchase a package to put your picture up within the store. And finally, number five, find all your spooky merch in CityWalk. One of my favorite things to do during spooky season is shop for Halloween merch. I have a weakness for the Little Boo merch and this year there's even more merch featured outside the parks. You will find that many items inside the parks are also at CityWalk inside the Universal Store, so you don't even have to enter the parks in order to purchase it. This year, there's even a pumpkin-themed spot for the outside booths. So if you want an adorable light-up popcorn bucket, some fun shirts, or Major Sweets candy, you'll be able to find all of those things at CityWalk. We hope you enjoyed this video, and we hope you have a fun and spooky time at Universal this season. Be sure to tell us your favorite spooky fun in the comments below, or if you've used any of our tips, we love hearing from everyone. This is different at night. Really late. Oh, Boise. Ah! <laughs> I wish I weren't alone. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, Boise. <laughs> Aww. Mercy. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh. oh, it's hard to be alone. <laughs>